Hello everyone and welcome to the beginning of the fourth content that should be prepared and published on the Triple I networking channel. My name is Sajar Gafuri and we are starting right now in this video talking about the Juniper V Labs tutorial in the English language that's being produced, recorded and produced and published in June 2021. This is the fourth out of 17 uh, planned two contents to be distributed or published on the channel and I hope that you'll always uh, subscribe this channel, follow us on the websites, let's say on the platform i'm sorry on the social media platforms so that you'll always find us and see what are we producing this video will also be available in two languages english and arabic it's important to know that just in case you wanted to see the other version then you can see for it in the uh, channel as well and actually in the description of this video you will find a link for the playlist of the tutorials so we'll find these four tutorials bilingual meaning eight videos there on that playlist so it would be important the juniper v labs tutorial is about a very simple concept that i will talk about and that is it's a free service from juniper networks that will take you to their virtual environments like they have some virtual machines and environments looks like us uh, evng but they are actually the sandbox technology and just in case just in case you have seen my cisco cml video previously on the channel this video is identical to it and it has a very high similarity like almost 80 percent of the procedure when we want to achieve the juniper v labs and start practicing on it so the same idea again just in case you did not watch the video let me tell you what that concept that concept was it was the concept of so it's called juniper today it's juniper so we'll talk about juniper only juniper networks have provided over the cloud to their services to their uh, infrastructure let's say or data centers some virtual environments ready for you to access for free completely for free but for a limited period of time so that you will be able to reserve a fixed topology and that is the difference between cisco and juniper here it's only a fixed topology that we'll see in minutes of some routers or some switches or some firewalls or some automation and uh, uh, software defined networking solutions so that you will receive that topology and you will start practicing on that topology this is very important so achieving this before required you to have a good resources like if you wanted to study juniper certificates or practice on juniper devices nodes equipments then you would either need to buy these equipments it's called live gear uh, have them on a virtual environment like gns3 even g install them on your laptop these gns3 or even g solutions etc or uh, have them on a server so all of these requires resources requires purchases requires money affording etc now it's for free now your laptop maybe if it has a four gigabytes of ram two cores of cpu no gpu no ssd whatever we don't care because you'll go to the web browser and through the web browser you'll go over the cloud to their uh, infra to the infrastructure of juniper networks and you will have some to some topologies there ready for you you will reserve them wait for some minutes for them to be ready just directly go th to them and start consoling to the nodes or even SSHing to them or whatever depends on the availability and start practicing on it. But you will see in a few minutes coming when we go uh, deeper in that and start achieving it. Difference between Cisco CML and Juniper VLabs, both of them are sandboxes, both of them are free, both of them requires free accounts to log in, both of them are limited to hours, but in Cisco you can build the topology, the topology you can mix devices or platforms in Juniper V Labs. You cannot. So is that a bad point? No, because Juniper also provides another solution called the JCL, Juniper Cloud Labs. In that lab, you can design a topology, submit it, and you will wait for maybe hours or days for that topology to be ready, and then you will practice on that topology. Slower than Cisco, yes. Only for partners, official partners with Juniper Networks, yes. So the Cisco CML solution would be better. But we are talking about practicing on Juniper Networks, so Cisco CML will not have Juniper equipment. Okay, that is the idea. So if you do not have resources, if you don't have a good laptop or computer or server to practice on, if you want to study for a Juniper certificate, then VLabs, the Juniper VLabs, is the free solution for you. Let's start right now the procedure and the steps to achieve that. So the first step will be to go to google.com and I will type the Juniper Field Apps and the first link will direct me there. This will be easy, not for some link that I have to memorize. I will need to sign in. We can see that no other option here but only to sign in. So I will do. If you don't have a connection, I'm sorry, an account with Juniper Network, so you will need to type, click on need help signing in and then sign up. 
create an account but it's register not sign up uh, but actually juniper does not create an account immediately you might need to wait for two or three business days so that they will send you a confirmation on your email saying that your account is now created so now I've logged in and you can see that my name is up on the right corner so jargon 40 and what we will do right now it says welcome to the juniper v labs choose a topology from the list below so this is the idea and that is the difference between cml and juniper v labs choose a topology these are standalones it's a standalone vmx router like one single router and that's it yes seriously one single router standing alone there in the desert alone and uh this is the only thing you might say well, what would i do with it what you will do with it is the idea of juniper from the beginning the idea of the entire juniper jncia journal certificate their first associate certificate like their ccna is to learn the, learn the journals and you will learn the journals with a single device just to learn to work with the operating system there is a vsrx and the csrx differences between them VSRX is a virtual firewall, CSRX is a virtual light version firewall, VQFX is a virtual data center switch, uh, the VEX is not created, so Juniper does not have a virtual lightweight switches, only virtual data center switches, yet they are enough to practice all the switching features. Now for to topologies like a routing, a routing topology, you see this one is an OSPF single area, for the MX routers running Junos 19, participating in OSPF area zero. The other one is a multi-area that has three areas and six routers creating the entire topology. These four, we can see that all of these four actually are ABRs because all of them are connected to other areas. And there is the ISIS as well. ISIS is complicated and we will need to study that in the service provider courses only from Juniper Networks like JNCISSP and JNCIPSP. I believe it's also available in the JNCIP Enterprise. Perhaps you'll see that on this website later. I'm sorry, on this channel or on the website that I we are uh, producing full courses on, which is orhanergun.net. Again, we have some BGP and uh, other course, I'm sorry, other topology as well. Now for switching, uh, you can see that switches and servers are there. Server can, they are only an endpoint, not something specific. You'll find them a Linux server, not something complicated. But uh, servers that are, you can practice VLANs, spanning tree, data center for switching technologies like VXLAN, EVPN, fabric conductor, these stuffs are important as well. And you can also imagine, you will find them pre-configured. So no tasks already configured, so you can verify them, verify them and start to play with uh the config start to change it manipulate it so it's already configured like an overlay or something but you'll only need to keep playing with that changing it verify it troubleshoot if something happened if let's say uh you killed something in that order okay security of course that would be firewall like the vsrx and some of them are connected in cluster others are not this one is for zones policies the other is for vpn policy based vpn route based and some other stuff as well and that is important uh when you study jncia security jncis jncip security all of them will have only srx's in their uh, study guides and in their exams so you will need an srx topology automation is the last thing pi easy and jet this is python automation and still you can see this is a variety of options so this is a good side compared to cisco cml because uh in cisco cml you might not find that much of uh, creativity already created for you those uh, brilliant topology that you might haven't thought uh, thought about look north star is supported security directory supported sky enterprise is supported uh what else a network director security director uh, junos juniper uh, the sky uh, junos sky uh, as well all of these are extremely important and they are really rare to find some resources for i have just clicked on the vmx standalone router and the, 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 the i'm sorry the description says it's a one vmx only that runs juniper 19 no config no loopback no physical interfaces configured no protocols configured no addresses configured at all like out of the box vmx so why would i take it things to do get familiar with junos the CLI, the operating system of Juniper, and that is nice. And you can configure and delete and do whatever you want. When the timer of this lab ends, you are out. 
Uh, that, that is the idea now this will take me to the blueprint and in the blueprint i will reserve my sandbox i will request to reserve my sandbox for only a limited amount of time just like in cisco cml so these are for free these requires no resources they are not depending on your laptop or computer but they are limited and some there is always like some balance some pros and cons yet i like them okay this is called the blueprint right now what will be shown is the blueprint showing this vmx and also you can see the name blueprint is clear in the screen i cannot operate that without reserving it so i need to reserve it for myself i will reserve that look the duration that is available right now by default it's three hours let's see how much we can do it I will make it do our uh, I'm sorry this there is a black screen to cover my email but it can be like reserved for more than five hours uh, they are generous the guys there in Cisco CML the maximum is four hours okay so I have just written my email and everything and I have delete and disable the option of receiving an email before my time runs out I will watch the clock from my side no problem I will click reserve reserve right now I should receive an email only a confirmation email says that yes we have received your request and we are starting the process but you will need to wait by the way i have reserved 30 minutes look nine minutes left means 10 minutes actually not nine 10 minutes i have reserved a 30 minute reservation lab they are actually 20 because these 10 minutes of preparation are deducted from that 30 and that is important if you think that you need a minimum of 30 minutes to practice your lab please reserve 40 or 50 minutes this is important because this preparation this 10 minutes preparation are taken from our time so i will get only a net duration of 20 minutes the first email received and once the 10 minutes are done i will receive a second email saying that uh that wait is over you can right now start right now the green icon on the right corner below the vlabs word says setup once it's done it will be turned into active and i will be directed or actually i will not be directed i am already right now in the sandbox i'm no longer in the blueprints in the blueprints if you had a jcl account a juniper cloud labs not a vlabs then in the blueprints you can modify and play and redesign your topology submit the reservation and you will receive a sandbox that looks identical to the blueprints that you have requested for okay so let's see right now if i will check my inbox let's see what we will see and also let's see when will that uh, wait will be over for these 10 minutes As I mentioned before, JCL is only for partners. Partners can have JCL opportunity to participate in the Juniper Cloud Labs. Uh, bring your own BYO uh, 3.0. As I remember last time it was in 2020. Uh, this course is only for partner employees. Once these partners take the course uh, completed, they will be submitted to a JCL exam. Once they finish the JCL exam and pass it, their uh, partner accounts will be automatically gain the privilege of the JCL. Also, they might be asked to take some uh, championship uh, certificates like the sales professional innovative uh, champion and then the ingenious champions those stuff are uh, not to be understood by all of the guys actually listening to this video because right now I'm sorry because it's actually only for partners so if you're not working with a juniper partner you might you might not hear these uh, terms and this methodology for months or years at all um, this might not be your concern okay so let's see what we are waiting right now i believe we are only waiting for that confirmation email we are still in the setup confirmation email is already reserved let's see right now and we are done so 10 minutes are done right now we can see that the green is active and that is important okay so let's start right now so this is active we can see that and also the vmx right now have some extra options available and it's green so let me see if i uh, stop the cursor on the uh, router what options will i have i can ssh or i can console to it and that would be nice so let's see i clicked on ssh it is supported and i am in 
very nice and the device is already up so it's already booted up i don't need to waste more time waiting for the process of junos that takes minutes and minutes sometimes up to five minutes to put up boot up the entire uh operating system of jncia okay now i can see based from the uh based on that uh, bigger than sign i'm in the privilege mode and i can look nice so this says that it's a vmx show version version is 19 and I've just copied these to show them in a bigger font, just in case the font that has been used by default on that SSH terminal is not big enough. Okay, yes, it's version 19, it's the VMX device, and some ton of info that you might not care of, and you can now start practicing the Junos operating system there. If I clicked on VM console, uh, yes, this has some prerequisites, so leave it. Let's just for now uh, take care of what we can do. And that is important by this you can reach it and if you want then to practice on juniper itself if you want to study juniper certificates then the english course is available but it's a paid one not for free on our hanargon website but you'll find a really really good discount for that and believe me it will worth it because you don't want to take that from any other uh, institute it will be much more expensive this is number one and number two it's a 16 hour 100 percent based on the agenda of the blueprints of the exam gn0103 and it will definitely qualify you to pass the exam i hope that this tutorial was clear for you all and i hope to see you in the upcoming tutorials thanks a lot